The electrical requirements for new heat mats are simple and easy to accomplish. Please follow these important points before beginning your new heat installation. 1. A certified electrician must make the final connections for the new heat system. 2. A dedicated circuit is mandatory for all new heat installations. A Class A ground fault circuit interrupter must protect this circuit. 3. All wiring must follow specifications set out in the U.S. National Electric Code and local electrical regulatory standards. In Canada, all installations must follow the specifications set out in Part 1 of the Canadian Electrical Code. 4. All first-time new heat installers are required to call new heat prior to the actual installation. At this time, our trained staff will review general installation practices and ensure that the new heat floor warming system is being installed safely. Failure to call in will void the new heat warranty. 5. New heat mats must be tested for continuity and resistance a total of three times during the installation process before, during, and after installation. This information must be recorded on both the installation instructions and the customer's warranty card before it is mailed to New Heat. Whenever possible, pre-wire the home for New Heat, complete with junction boxes prior to the tile installation. This will help ensure that the tile installer runs the New Heat lead wires to the correct locations. Begin by determining the number of circuits you require for your New Heat installation. Check the electrical guide if you require assistance in doing this. Once you have determined the correct number of circuits for your new heat project, install them at your electrical box. Remember these circuits must be protected by a Class A GFCI either at the panel, at the connection or within the control unit. Don't forget to test the mats prior to making any connections. Making the final connection once the circuits have been installed is quick and easy. If you're using the new heat floor sensing thermostat with built-in timer, connect the white power wire to the white control wire on the line side. Then, connect the black power wire to the black control wire on the line side of the thermostat. To connect the mat to the control, connect the white wire from the mat to the white wire on the load side of the thermostat. Then connect the black wire from the mat to the black wire on the load side of the thermostat. Then connect the probe wire to the bottom two terminals on the control unit. Lastly, place the wires into the box and screw the control box in place. You're all set to go.